Hi, in this problem we have a polynomial of degree 3, so a cubic polynomial, and we have to write it as a product of linear factors and find the zeros. So if you're curious, we can always write polynomials as a product of their linear factors. It's something called the linear factorization theorem that says that we can do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to do it. Solution. I'm going to start by just writing down the polynomial again. So we have big Q of x equals x cubed plus 4x squared minus 16x minus 64. And one of the things that you want to do whenever you're trying to factor something, and there are four terms, is to always first think about factor by grouping. Might not work, but it might. In this case, I think it will. So from the first two terms, we can pull out a common factor of x squared. So this is x squared, parentheses, and then we think about what's missing. What do we have to multiply by x squared in order to get x cubed? Well, just x, and then plus, what do we multiply by x squared in order to get 4x squared? Well, 4. Then we close the parentheses. You should always check x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 4 is 4x squared. Good stuff. Now here we have a negative and a negative. So let's go ahead and try to pull out a negative 16. And then parentheses. And so here we're missing an x because negative 16 times x is negative 16x. And then here, this is going to be a plus 4, right? Because negative 16 times 4 is negative 64. Okay, so now we can pull out the common factor, x plus 4. And you can put it in the front or you can put it in the back. I'm going to put it in the front like this, x plus 4. This looks a little bit cleaner. And then you say, what do you multiply by x plus 4 in order to get x squared times x plus 4? Well, x squared, right? Because x plus 4 times x squared is x plus 4 times x squared. It's just written backwards. And then here, we've already pulled out the x plus 4, so we just have a minus 16. And again, just a mental check, x plus 4 times minus 16 is exactly what we have here. Let's keep going. This is equal to x plus 4. This is actually the difference of squares. It's x squared minus 4 squared. So it's x minus 4, x plus 4. So x minus 4, x plus 4. And we've done it. We've written it as a product of its linear factors. To find the zeros, we basically set it equal to 0. And then we can see what the answers are right away. Uh, basically, you set each factor equal to 0 after that, if you wanted to. And then x minus 4 equals 0, and then x equals 4. X, x plus 4 equals 0. You subtract 4 here, so you get x equals negative 4. That's one of the answers. You add 4 here, so you get x equals 4. That's another answer. Subtract 4 again, so you get x equals negative 4. That's another answer. So negative 4 appears twice. In this case, we say that it has multiplicity 2 because it occurs twice in our solution. And x equals 4 has multiplicity 1 because it only appears once. In any case, that's not what the question was asking. We've done what it asked. We factored it. So wrote it as a product of linear factors. That's the solution here. And we found the zeros, which are circled down here. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.